Hi everyone, Wednesday in the Word with Wes, and it is Christmas. We are uh, looking forward this weekend to the celebration of uh, Jesus the Savior, the Messiah, the Christ from God who has come. And uh, as we think about this Christmas season, uh, one of the, the things that we really enjoy celebrating is with uh, lights. And that idea or, or theme or, or motif of, of light and darkness is such a key contrast in Scripture, isn't it? In the midst of the darkness of this time of year, the, the, the beauty of uh, Christmas lights or candles as uh, we celebrate together uh, illuminates. And uh, it's a theme that uh, John picks up in John chapter 1 at the beginning of that gospel, where he says that in the beginning was the Word, that's Jesus, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning, and through him all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him, that's Jesus, was life. And that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. I love that image of, of light shining brightly in the darkness. And as we consider the, uh, the birth narrative of Jesus in Luke chapter 2, uh, as we uh, remember maybe with a, uh, a, a manger scene, or as we remember with the, the candles of Advent, um, in Luke chapter 2, uh, in the midst of the darkness, there are, are a group of shepherds, and they are confronted by light. This is in Luke chapter 2, verse 8. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord, and this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Uh, in the midst of the darkness of the night, as the shepherds um, watch their flocks, uh, the, the angel and the glory of God showed up and a proclamation was made in the midst of the darkness, in the midst of their fear. Um, the angel says, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. And uh, I pray that this Christmas, that instead of the overwhelm of the darkness, that uh, the light of Christ would appear and the light and hope of Jesus would, would remove our fears because the glory of God has been revealed in the birth of our Savior. And so let's thank God that uh, his light shines brightly and overcomes the, the fear and darkness in our lives. And he has done that once and for all in sending his son Jesus to be not only the Savior of the world, but your Savior and my Savior for all who will call on him in faith. Let's pray together. God, thank you for today, for these lights that shine in the midst of the darkness of the Christmas season, but God, for the greater light of your glory, the glory of your son, Jesus, that has overcome darkness in our world. And we pray today that in the midst of our celebration, that our fear would be driven out and that uh, um, the presence of Jesus, the light of Jesus, and the hope of Jesus would uh, um, be a reminder for us that the Savior of the world, the one who wants to be our Savior, has come. With him there is forgiveness of sins. With him there is great peace and joy and comfort and with him there is light overcoming darkness and we pray
praise you and thank you that, that all of these things are true because our Savior Jesus has come.